Okay, let's try this one. Clio PL. Clearly, somebody from Poland. It's pretty good at both bullet and blitz. So it's going to be a, a nice little challenge. Yeah, I'm going to just see again if people have learned from the previous banter blitz, in which I implored my opponent to take an e4. You just cannot let such a tasty pawn go untasted. But he also feels like he's sinning against chess by, by, not, by not accepting that gift. Actually, if he had gone knight f6, I could have played d3. And that would have been, um, in my opinion, quite hilarious transposition to uh, to the bishop game, which usually comes from uh, 1e4, e5, bishop c4, knight f6, d3, c6, knight f3, d5, bishop b3. Okay, so c f6. That does not smell right to me. I have to say that. So I have options. Mm, I can go d4, d, knight, d5. Uh. Hmm. It's not easy. So many tempting options. Yeah, once again, I'm just burning time. Okay. Whatever, knight c3. Bishop b6, then d4 looks really strong, so I suppose he has to go d4. And d4, I'm not going to say what I will play, but it will not be knight d2. Would have been knight b1, haha. <laughs> no, I would have gone knight e5, knight e5, fe5, queen h5, king d7, queen e5. And because of the threat of queen e6, I think I got d4 as well. It looks like I have a very interesting game. But now, yeah, bishop b6, d4. Again. Dude, why is this better than taking on uh, than taking on uh, e4 or move three? I mean, why would you rather want this position? Now I've developed three pieces. You develop one. You weaken your uh, uh, position with uh, with f6. You're three moves away from castling. I'm one move away from castling. Everything points to my position being being vastly superior. Often rules can be broken in chess, but I do not believe this time that that he can afford this. So I think this is just very poor. And uh, yeah, so now he may win a pawn, but don't think it's going to matter. E D. Wouldn't surprise me if castles is good, but I think I'll just go knight e4. Not one to to uh, give up material unnecessarily. Queen e7 is a, it's a creative try. Maybe there was something else with d5, just looks crushing. Cd, knight d5, amongst other things. And the fork and, fork and c7. Knight a6. Okay. Why not? Castle if you can. That's the famous movie. Title and goes. Should 
sure his plan is 95 or 97, but if I want a simple option, which I think at this point I want, I'll just take on g8 and take on c6. Um, yeah, this isn't a good idea either. Knight e4, it just looks so juicy. Knight coming to f5, possible fork. And nowhere near castling. He is. Bit surprised it's not it's not made quite yet. I want to stick with the bishop. Even attacking B7. Oh <laughs> that was that was really lazy and dumb. That's why you don't take with the bishop, because you allow king's queenside castle. Well, I'm still much, much better, but that was lazy. That was a mouse slip. I wanted c3. That is just so dumb. Still completely winning. Just too big a positional advantage to to squander. And some little tactics. Let's do this just for fun. Obviously, everything else was better, but it's still completely winning. And oh, that was a bit risky. And that's now five pawns, which is a bit. Bit more than he can bear, I think. So he's trying, but he has absolutely no target for attack. That's the thing about being many pawns up, then your pieces usually have good squares. Okay. Anyway, he fought well after after a disastrous opening, so. Gotta give him that.